hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see how to manage the computer object in the adds which is active directory domain services so now i have logged into the domain controller which is lan dash dc1 and uh, this is running on windows server 2016 server so let me just uh, open the active directory users and computers so we can open through the server manager as well you can go to tools and uh, you can just launch active directory users and computers and uh, there is another way also which you can just click on start and expand the windows administrative tools and from here you can just click on active directory users and computers so here we can see that uh, there is a domain called adatom.com and under which we can see there are multiple you know folders like uh, built-in which is a built-in groups for example we can see some of the built-in groups like administrator account operators and uh, for example if i want to give rdp access then i can add them to the remote desktop users so these are some of the uh, built-in groups based on the requirement uh, we can you know give the uh, permission to the respective users and uh, next we can see there is a computers so here uh, we can you know basically manage all the computer objects that are in the domain so if i have uh, you know a number of computers in my domain and uh, once i added those you know computers to the domain i can see that will be located or it will be you know created under the computers group so right now i have two computers one is landash cl1 and another one landash svr1 so if i add any other computers to the aratom.com domain and then that will be appearing under the computers I can also create a new OU and uh, if I want to apply for any kind of group policy object, I can just move those computers into the respective OU. So we can create the OU by going into the atom.com domain and click on new and here you can see the organizational units. So I'm just typing GST computers and here this is checked because we cannot delete accidentally. So this is the computer where you just created and uh, I can just move any one of the computer object from this group into OU. So to move the computer, you can just right click and uh, click on move and then you have to choose to which uh, you know uh, OU you want to move so from here we can see there are uh, you know some of the OUs available but I have created you know dedicated OU for the computers which is TST computers so I don't have any sub or the child uh, OU underneath so I'm just selecting this one and click on OK. So now we can see that I have only one computer object under the computers and uh, the other one which is moved under TST computers. So basically if we wanted to you know apply group policy for multiple computers or the user object we need to have the OU under which we can you know keep the object whether it is a computer object or the user object so now we can apply the group policy object 
for this OU, whatever we want to make a changes. So if I go to this computer and right click and just go to the properties and here I can see the general properties where the computer name and what will be the DNS name that can be accessible over the network and uh, DC type workstation or server and under operating system we can see what operating system was you know running on this machine so for example this has windows 10 enterprise and if you click on member of we can see whether this computer is member of any other groups so here since we have aratom domain so by default it will be the member of domain computers i can also add any other groups the built-in groups or the new groups i can just you know search it here and add it to that and if i go to the delegation here i can just make a delegation and if i click on the location i can browse to the location or update the location of the server and uh, once i click on manage to buy here we can you know put some information like uh, who is going to manage the server and you can you know update their name and uh, the address detail as well and this is just the dial in and uh, the other thing is you know if i just go to the computer object and right click we can see some of the options in the once we right click on that so here the first one we can see that add to a group so here as we have seen we can you know add this computer to member of any other groups and uh, the other option would be disable the account so if i want to disable the account or this computer object which is no more you know used in the network or this you know computer is not available anymore means i can just right click and click on disable so if i click on yes this object has been disabled and uh, once it is disabled this cannot be you know available to log into the network so after that if we wanted to enable we can choose the enable account option and this account just enabled now you can see that there is a no the down arrow here and we can see it is disable option only and uh, the other option would be reset account so once we reset this account then what will happen if any user tries to log in into this machine then they will not be able to log into this machine because we did a reset so the sid and uh, that information will be changed for this account so in that case the anyone nobody will be able to log into this computer object or the machine so to make it work someone has to log in with the local administrator account and then they have to rejoin that computer back to the domain after that they should be able to log into the system so make sure if you did any reset then it will affect the end user computer and uh, next we can see there is a move option we just did it so using this move option we can just move it to a different group and there is a manage option we can you know just click on it it will you know tries to connect to the event viewer we'll just cancel it and uh, then we can see there is a all task here also we can you know reset the account or you know disable it or move it so here there is option to delete as well if we just click on delete this computer object will be deleted and uh, if once we need to make it work then again we need to add this computer back to the domain then only this new computer object will be 
created in the Active Directory. Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.